Elon Musk finally spoke about Twitter and revealed his long-term plans with this platform regarding the new Twitter algorithm, free speech, and other directions. And these plans are very exciting. When Musk began criticizing Twitter, it was very normal if we remember his historic critiques of Facebook and other social media. But now, after he bought the platform, he is improving everything that he didn't like about social media platforms before, and he wants to make Twitter better than ever. For example, Musk is completely transforming an algorithm and he opened up about his plan for customizing the Twitter feed. Also, employees at Twitter who decided to stay have shared a number of very interesting reasons to why they've decided to stay in the company. But what's crazy about the new Twitter is the advantages for those users who will pay for the blue tick. In addition, Musk sent a company-wide new email to the remaining workers asking that they commit to working more hours at high intensity or face three months of severance if they do not agree with his terms or support his vision for Twitter 2.0. This is a very interesting situation, so let's explain it. In his latest shock therapy for the social media company, Elon Musk decided to give Twitter employees a deadline of 5 p.m. Eastern Time on the 17th of November to decide if they wanted to continue working for him, and he requested those who did not share his vision to leave. Musk made the revelation in an early morning email to staff with the subject line, A Fork in the Road. Musk stressed in the message that Twitter had a very difficult road ahead and offered staff three months of severance if they didn't want to work there to develop a spectacular Twitter 2.0. Meanwhile, two sources said resignations began to pour in. Hundreds of Twitter employees looked to have elected to leave with three months of severance pay before the deadline of 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Twitter later stated via email that office buildings would be closed and employee badge access would be disabled until Monday. The loss of so many people in such a short time has prompted concerns about Twitter's ability to continue operating properly. While Musk has pulled in some engineers and employees from his other firms like Tesla, many of them are still learning how the social networking service works. As users speculated about the service's future, the hashtag, hashtag RIP Twitter was trending on Twitter. Some individuals joked that there was just one remaining employee. Some users stated that they were switching to other social networking platforms. Twitter faces more than just internal issues. A few senators have asked the Federal Trade Commission to look into whether the firm has broken a customer privacy agreement with the commission. Musk changed some of the company's data security standards, prompting the resignations of Twitter's security officials. And you all know, of course, how privacy policies are a very sensitive topic for Musk. That was the main reason why he criticized Facebook so many times and suggested to delete Facebook a few times. Musk's team also spoke with uncertain employees who are critical to Twitter's operations in an attempt to convince them to stay. Musk stated in his pitch that he understood how to win and that anyone who wanted to do so should join him. Some employees were called to a conference room at the San Francisco headquarters for one of those sessions, while others were invited in by video conference. As the deadline of 5 p.m. approached, several of those who had called in started to hang up, indicating that they had decided to leave. Of course, Elon Musk was already pushed tight before requiring Twitter. Musk famously slept on the sofa at Tesla's Fremont factory in 2018 in an attempt to turn the business around amid a crisis. And, as feared, Twitter has turned into a massive nightmare. That means Musk is now busier than he was before, and the pressure is getting to him. He has too much work on his plate, Musk stated at the B20 conference in Indonesia, adding that he is working at his absolute maximum capacity from morning to night, seven days a week. Meanwhile, Musk, who was on a video chat, had the lights go out behind him when the power went out, which meant his face was suddenly only illuminated by the screen. It's the ideal metaphor for the last several weeks, which have seen Musk constantly fighting to keep the lights on at Twitter. Another important issue for Musk is Twitter's algorithm. Musk stated in a series of tweets in April that it is essential to fix the Twitter feed and that he had a plan for it. Musk said that Twitter manipulated users in ways they were unaware of. Musk tweeted that it was simple to swap back and forth to notice the difference. Musk suggested that users hit the home button, then tap the stars on the upper right of the screen, and then pick latest tweets to correct the Twitter feed. Meanwhile, former CEO Jack Dorsey responded in a tweet, saying that the Twitter algorithm was simply designed to save people time. Musk then clarified that he wasn't implying any malice in the algorithm. He claims that it tries to predict what you would like to read, and in doing so, unintentionally manipulates or amplifies your opinions without your knowledge. Before Musk's acquisition, a well-known entrepreneur criticized Twitter's algorithm in a tweet, and he also tagged Elon Musk to inquire about his future intentions for the firm 
if he acquires it. According to Vinnie Lingham, the algorithm is illogical because people with 1,000 followers or more receive fewer than 100 likes on their tweets. In this case, Musk answered by agreeing with Lingham's assessment of the company. Moreover, shortly before the Twitter takeover was completed, he sent an open letter to advertisers, reassuring them that he did not want the site to become a free-for-all hellscape where anything may be said with no repercussions. One of the most pressing issues confronting Twitter in its new period as a private corporation is how the network will manage moderation. Freedom of speech was one of Musk's motivations for purchasing the microblogging site, since he believed the platform did not allow it. Well, Musk announced the formation of a new Content Moderation Council to bring together varied perspectives on the problem after completing his takeover and dismissing top executives. He tweeted that no major content rulings or account reinstatements will take place before the council meets. Other upcoming changes with the promotion of tweets and edit button. Following days of discussion about whether Elon Musk, the new chief twit, would demand $20 to be verified on Twitter, Musk announced a revamped Twitter Blue program through Twitter. Musk revealed the critical elements, calling the current system of certification with blue check marks bullshit. One essential component is that users may increase the exposure of their tweets and platform engagement by paying for Twitter. With this news, there is a substantial shift in social media usage. For the first time, people who can pay may purchase wider reach and ranking, more exposure and recognition. Other Twitter users, perhaps, will have a lower probability of this being viewed by others. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.